We are monks from the province of Canton, bearing scriptures from the Shaolin temple. We are students of that Buddhist temple, with orders to recover the scriptures you stole. What utter bullshit. I don't believe my friend would have asked you to recover the very scriptures he gave me. And I won't believe that you are in any way connected to the Shaolin temple at all. <laughs> Wise old fool. Kill him. Get aboard. Wait! Wait for me! Wait! Wait! Wait, Joanne! Help me! What's that? Help you? Let me aboard. Please. All right. Come on. I will take the scriptures back first. You follow. When they're dead. Sir! Wait! Hey, mister! What about the monk? Well, what am I supposed to do? Do what you want. If you think I'm going to take care of that old monk, there's no way. We'll find a way. Oh. Yes, I think you'll be all right now. Come, get on my back. <clears throat> monk, so what you're trying to tell me is that the Shaolin monk stole your Buddhist scriptures. I trusted them. They gave me these beads. Are those Buddhist scriptures so valuable? They... prove to the people... that the Buddhist faith is the only faith. Buddhism will save. Buddhism will save the people and province of Canton. My friend, I'm also from Canton. I'll get them back. It's not easy. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll get them back. But how do you think you're going to get them? Well, I thought I might rip them off, sneak into the Shaolin temple and get your scriptures back. Rip them off? <laughs> it's unfortunate for the Buddhists, but I'm good at ripping things off. Uh, are you planning to recover the scriptures straight away? <laughs> I'm planning a piss.
Stop there! What are you doing here? Not doing nothing! Uh, now is there an old monk here? <laughs> yes, sir. I've been expecting you, so I imprisoned him over there. <laughs> Did you? Oh. You men, look inside. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Just a moment. What about some money? For my efforts? All right. Wait! You don't expect something for nothing. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. My head is a little harder than your hand is. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I told you it was harder than your hand is. You asshole! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but my belly is also harder. You bastard! <laughs> well, my friend, you were warned. Be careful! He's not a man to be messed with! Limits. This must be the place where they keep the Buddhist scriptures. Amitabha. Stop where you are. Hmm? <laughs> I've been caught. Please get out of here immediately. You shouldn't be here. Well, I'd like to leave, but... Uh... If you will not accept my advice, I'll have to use force of arms. Then you'll have to leave. I'm afraid. Now, my friend, you've been caught trying to steal. You must leave immediately. We Buddhists are willing to forgive. I appreciate your forgiveness and your advice, but I'm here for a very good reason. You cannot stay. We will have to make you leave by force, Buddha forgive us. Do you 
bear a grudge against our temple? And why did you come here so late at night? Why did your men attack me? Who are you and what do you want? My friend, I have come to recover the Buddhist scriptures you stole from Haiyan. What was that? You stole. Don't talk about something you know nothing of. We are proud of our friendship with the Canton branch of our brethren. There is no reason we should have stolen those Buddhist scriptures from our friend from Canton to whom we had just given them. What could ever make you think that we could do <laughs> such a thing? Then why, my friend, did he tell me that you had? Bullshit! My guess is that he was attacked by other men. What? The Dharma Book of Changes. Hurt Hyan. The Dharma Book of Changes? That's right. Young man, in our Buddhist scriptures, we have 72 volumes. They all help us in our learning. The Dharma Book of Changes was compiled by the founder of our sect, Lord Dharma, when he established the temple. Our past is within that book, sir. Young man, I gave a copy to Haiyan as a symbol of our friendship and cooperation. How then could the Dharma Book of Changes have hurt him so badly? I think that this time that bastard has done it. What bastard? Beijing. Once he was a Buddhist student of the Shaolin Temple. When I became successor, he was very discontented. He broke away from Buddhism and started gathering warriors. Beijing. <laughs> At last, it's mine. <laughs> Young man, I understand your chivalrous spirit, but it is no good. No one can beat his martial arts. Because he is an excellent fighter in every sense, he would destroy you. A long time ago, we sent our best men to punish the arrogant fool. <laughs> is a very long way away from Shaolin, yet his men guard all the roads. They are also known to be extremely skillful. It is too late to do anything at all. Yes. <laughs> Wait! Don't follow him. I had no idea Mokrian had been spying for Bai Kiang. 
I understand your courage, but you can't match his kung fu. Save your life. Death is my destiny. You can't go before you master the Dharma changes. Please accept my advice. I don't have time. I must get these Buddhist scriptures back. All right. But take care of yourself. Goodbye. You mean a Cantonese man is coming to get the Dharma book and the Buddhist scriptures? That's right. He's young and skillful at Kung Fu. <laughs> what? Even against me? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, but you'd better make ready for him. You've done well. Thanks for the news. I really appreciate you. And now, would you like some tea? It's from India. You're most kind. <laughs> did you expect, now that I don't need your services? You're scum. You have betrayed your people. A young Cantonese man is coming to challenge my Kung Fu. That is why I've called you all here. I don't want to soil my hands on this scum of no account. Why don't you take care of him yourself? Because he is not worthy of my talents, but he is not beneath you. Father, you need not worry yourself. To get here, he will have to pass areas held by our own people. We can take care of him. Good. You need not foresee a problem. He can. Are you really quite sure? We're all extremely confident. We've all of us sworn allegiance to you. Good. Right. <laughs> then I suppose I'll have to trust all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Come inside. Come on. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> yeah. What do you have? I want some beef hmm? and a bun. And to drink? I don't want anything. Uh, yes, sir. Hey. Look. Look there. <laughs> Come on, boss. I don't suppose you've done as I told you. Arrested him? Uh, not yet. Oh, get on with it, you idiot. Yes, sir. <laughs> Some for you. My God! That man tried to poison me!
getting in my way, eh? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you the ferryman? Yes, I am. What are you doing here? Never you mind. Eh? Well? Well, I have something to do here. And what the hell are you doing, huh? <laughs> How is the monk from before? <laughs> well, I helped him because of your money. Hmm? There's no more. Hey, I don't want any more of your money. Let's travel together. Huh? How about it? <laughs> I think we can be good friends. Why don't we introduce ourselves? Right. My name is Chin. <laughs> and people call me Wan. Goodbye, Mr. Wan. No, no. Why can't we travel together? Since we're going the same way, I want to travel with you. Huh? I'm not traveling anywhere with anyone. I'm no tourist. Neither am I. I'm no tourist either. <laughs> I thought you weren't coming. Friend, here we are. Damn you, asshole! Now then, you're gonna be bumped off!
How on earth did you find trouble hiding here? All right. I won't ask any more questions. Please, will you tell me your name, my dear? Then we can be friends. Tell me now. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You have been wounded. I'll go and get you some medicine. I'd like to know why you're still trying to follow me. I'm not following you. I'm just sheltering from the rain. <laughs> Would you mind telling me which way you're going? To their camp. Oh, well, in that case, we are going the same way. We could get to know each other better. Oh, it never rains, but it pours. Make up your mind quick or we'll get soaked. All right. Goody. you. <laughs> All right. But I don't look as pretty as you do. <laughs> you say those two are heading for our camp? Yes, Father, I did say that. And that one of them may be a girl? We don't know. She might well be the daughter of Chin Man. Really? Who I killed a few years back. I cannot take that chance. Kill them both. Don't you worry, Father. I'll take care of them both myself. Both of them will have to pass by my encampment. So I'll... Mm, I understand your plan completely. But I worry about you, so you must take care. Will you promise? Yes. Father, how will you settle Nodal's problem? Nodal? Yes. Nodal started a fight, so Dandan ran away from home. That Dandan is a pitiless daughter. There are two ways. You either appease Nodal, or there'll certainly be big trouble. Which is it going to be? He will not dare complain. I have the Dharma, Book of Changes, and I will murder him. I must learn the techniques that are given in that secret book. Mm. Father, I will return now. Well, how is your sister? She's all right now.
Wake up. Come on. I bought you some food. <laughs> Help yourself. Here, change your clothes. <laughs> change, they're your color. Why are you going to their camp wearing men's clothing? Tell me. What are your reasons? I'm the only remaining daughter of Chin Mang. My entire family were brutally killed by Bei Qian. Mm. Bei Qian wanted my father to join his hoodlums. And when they dared to refuse, they died. None of my family was spared in the slaughter. My mother died alongside my father. I only just managed to escape. That's why I'm now heading for their camp, to take my revenge. That's very sad. I will do my best to help. It's all right. I don't need anyone. Not since my parents died. I want to change. I'll wait outside. <laughs> Miss Chin? Miss Chin? Chin? the ladies alone. how we can possibly thank you. We might have been a... Uh... It's all right. I would like to repay you. Would you please come with us? It would indeed be my pleasure. Please lead the way. All right, Mays, please show him the way. Friend, we are only girls here. <laughs> oh. All the men were long since murdered by Bei Qiang. Bei Qiang? We want to avenge our family's deaths. Oh. 
And now, maids, please prepare a bath for our honored guest. Come on. Yes, yes. This is poisonous. Yes. into prison. Yes. Sister, how is he? He's in prison. You're going to kill him? Yes. I'll take him to father tomorrow. He'll be pleased. Now you should make ready to go see father. Take a look. Good trick, but not that good. 
How could you betray me? You filthy little bitch. Hurry, put him away. Yes. <laughs> very angry. We had better go away from here. Come on. has been killed by the Cantonese guy. What? My daughter dead? Yes, sir. Dan Dan? She has disappeared. You get that Cantonese pig? Huh? Now I have betrayed my father and watched my sister die at the hands of one of his men. You betrayed him? I had to. To save my self-respect, I was just a sacrifice. Sacrifice? And now we have truly sealed our friendship with blood. I hope you will be kind to my daughter. My good friend, I will love your daughter. Thank you. Now let us drink a toast to our association. Oh, good. From now on, we are friends. <laughs> Thank you. My father arranged the marriage for his own convenience. He wanted the masters of all the martial arts schools on his side. Watch 
for all. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Why are you all crying on your wedding day? <laughs> all right. I'll wait for your love. <laughs> for the rest of my life. So I decided to escape from his mountain villa. Rescued me. What do you plan to do? <clears throat> what are you doing? Please. Take me with you when you go. I can't do that. I have something to do. You cannot challenge my father. You'll only get yourself killed. Shameless bastard! Where the hell have you hidden your daughter, Dan Dan? That's what I'd like to ask you. Who the hell have you sold her to? You bastard! My daughter is with that Cantonese man. What happened? Shut your damn mouth! I am fed up with your constant lies. I have been cheated or I'm going to be cheated by you. Damn you! Damn you! It is you who has cheated me by communicating with that damn Cantonese man. Well, why the hell would I communicate? Why don't you capture the bastard and prove your innocence? All right, I will. Now, where the hell is he? He will have to pass the Ting Tai restaurant. You honor us. You are the man from Canton. <laughs> You're a big shot. 
How do you know the likes of me? Shut up! I'm taking you to Beijing to prove my innocence. What's wrong? Nodal is dead. He's dead? <laughs> so finally the man from Canton will come. You must kill him and the girl. Sir. You came here very easily, but you won't leave that way. <laughs> <laughs> Up yours. <laughs> You're mine. You will die this time. Kill him. No. Quite well. You are. I am the boss. The man that you have been waiting to see. What's that? Bei Kiang. Damn bastard.
Your father ordered us to kill him. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get some hair out of you, quickly. you to bring back my daughter's dead body? Who killed my daughter? Uh, 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 well... Who is he? That man. From Canton. What's that? It's the truth. You coward! <laughs> <laughs> What have you done? Uh, Bei Kang, he is the one who killed her. to go? I don't want to. What? A girl is a girl. I felt that whilst I was nursing you back to health. I wouldn't mind staying here forever. I would like to have your baby. That's the most important thing. Would you even be prepared to give up avenging your father's murderer? It's a foregone conclusion that we will be killed by Bei Kiang. Hmm? And rather than being killed, I think that we should give everything up. I cannot. Why is that? I love you so damned much that I cannot ever forget you. Please, forget Baekian. I cannot. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Please, I love you, you know that. I want to be with you forever and ever. Wait. You can't do anything. I have drained all your strength. What? I have taken all the power out of your body. My God! You will not be able to do anything without my assistance. But I will not change my mind. Then just try to do something by yourself. <laughs> Thank you. 
you could go away from this place and live somewhere quietly. I can't do that. I must get the Buddhist scriptures and keep my promise to that old man. Then, go alone. Chin Chin, help me. As you know, I was a sailor. Until now, I knew that I had to do something which was different. But it is not for me. All is not for me. I am no starstruck fool. Chin Chin, my father's name has to be cleared. He was wrongly branded as a corrupt official. I will do anything for you, if you will listen. Will you give me back my power? Please! Those Buddhist scriptures are needed by the people of Canton. Please help me show that my family is not bad. All right. I understand what you have been saying. Now you will have your full power. stand a chance against me? I have no intention of fighting scum like you. All I want are those Buddhist scriptures. You bucket of bullshit! Say your Buddhist prayers! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my God. 